we've got the basic shape of the crow folded up already. Um, we're going to put the finishing touches on it. Uh, okay, so we're going to take, I, I've laid out a bunch of pieces of small tape. First thing we're going to do, I told you we needed to bring that uh, back further up by holding the legs and pulling the wings up. And to secure that in place, we're going to put a piece of tape right here. That way, that's not going to move anymore. We're also going to go ahead and put another piece of tape here on this side of the leg of the foot, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And, of course, everything we do to one side, we do to the other. So, already... It's standing like a crow, okay? Now this head don't look quite right, right? So we're going to fix that. What I did was put two pieces of tape together. I put it over the top of the head and cut until it shaped the head if I was to tape it. over the top, okay? And the shape came up basically like a really long point on this side and a really short point on this side. Um, but you get the picture. And this way the duct tape doesn't stick inside and end up smashing it together anyways. So we don't want that. Now we just take a piece of tape to tape this side of the face like so okay and then we do the other side just like that that way now this isn't going to move anymore Just take a nice big piece of tape. And we can basically go over the top of our diamond. Okay. That's what it looks like anyway. It's kind of a different shaped diamond. Then we'll just do some patchwork. Put some tape over here to seal that back up. And we cut a piece back here. Just make it look nice. Pinch it up now. Looks more like a beak. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere, huh? You're just going to have to uh, fill in here, there's, alright, well, I'll, look, I'll show you here. This piece right here, and this piece right here, when you bring it together and tape those two pieces together, it's going to hold the crow at this position. 
Alright? So that's what I'm going to do. Put one piece of tape here. Bring it together. Tape it like that. Bam. Got you a crow decoy. Last thing to do is to spray paint it. Alright, so what I got here is Camouflage Rust-Oleum Spray Paint. It's really good because it is a very non-gloss finish. Uh, like I said, we want a little bit of shine on this crow because uh, crows naturally have like a jet black feather. It shines a little bit when the, when the light hits it. So we don't want to take the full shine out of it. Just take take the duct tape crow and lightly paint over. It dries fairly quick. While it's drying, it's gonna still look shiny. The more it dries, the less shiny it's gonna be. that dry. And there you go. Alright, so one thing I've noticed so far is that when, uh, even when this crow is braced by taping the two sides inside, eventually it kind of wants to give out. still wants to fall. So, a remedy of that is going to be when I came up with is it, I've got this 5 sixteenths dowel um, sitting around because I make a lot of arrows with 5 sixteenths uh, dowels. So I broke it into four pieces. One, two, three, four, okay. Anyways, I opened up this crow. So one dowel piece through the foot. just going to tape back over it so you're not going to see the piece of dowel and on the other side these next two pieces of dowel I've got two pieces of tape here you open up this uh, crow put one inside Like that. Take that there. And you only need to do it good enough where that dowel doesn't move anymore. Because when it folds up, it's going to close up and on itself. So it's not going to be moving anyways. And do the other side. So once again, this dowel inside this part of the bird. This piece of tape keeps it in place. Retape this part of the bird to this part of the bird. Okay. 
okay? Now it's more rigid, it's not going to fall over the place. One more tip, after I close these feet up, I'm going to just do it real quick so I can not bore you. But if I, if I did it right, I just keep taping until you won't see the wood anymore. Okay, but if it's windy, brings a couple of pieces, maybe this long, push it into the ground. Put the crow right on top. And it'll stop it from blowing around. So that's the second tip for keeping this thing more stable. 